a rooting, yeah, guy. A rooting guy. But yeah. today we're focusing on some Pro Bowls and some other things. But first, as always, the NFL regular season may be wrapping up, but there's still time to get in on the action with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. And right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets guaranteed when you place a $5 bet. That's 150 bucks for new customers in bonus bets, win or lose. And the app, the best part about it is that it's so easy to use and they have so many different ways to bet, including live same game parlays. You can find bets in the new Explorer tab. You can make a parlay in the Parlay Hub, which is the best way to find popular parlays and much, much more. So visit FanDuel.com slash UCSS to make your first bet a layup. FanDuel, an official partner of the NFL, an official partner of the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show. And today's winning ticket comes from our friend So Lyle, who hit a 13-part same-game parlay in the Orlando Magic Golden State Warriors game oh, last night wow. and turned $10 into $535, a 55-to-1 payout on a 13-part same-game parlay for our guy So Lyle. If you have a winning fan duel ticket, make sure you send it to us on Twitter. Email it to me at mlucas2 at technic.com, and we will feature it on the show. Let's talk Pro Bowlers, guys. Wait, before we do, did you reply to the emailer? I did not. I figured I would reply on the air. <laughs> I'm sure he's watching. So you no. know what? Yeah. If he's not, yeah. and it's likely that he watches every second of every day that we do a show, I would still reply and, and just say, say, you're wrong. You're That's wrong. It. <laughs> That's it. Everything you said Get is wrong. Get informed. Yeah. You're wrong. Yeah. That's right. So as I was saying, Jay, yeah. <laughs> five Browns made the Pro Bowl. Six got selected as alternates. Let's start with the five guys who did. We did an overtime yesterday. We tried to predict, and none of us had Betonio on there, but Betonio was one of the five. So let's start with the five guys who made it as actual legitimate pro bowlers <laughs> to begin with. Who's the biggest surprise of the five, and did they get it right? Not only did Betonio make it, but he's a starter. He's one of only three starters. Uh, Betonio is a starter. Miles Garrett's a starter. And this is a Amari Cooper. No, oh, Amari Cooper is okay. the third starter. Uh, the biggest surprise on that list is Betonio. I, I think Betonio got the I've been there before vote. The legacy pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree yeah, with that. Yeah, that, that's a, that's a, you know, that's an all Ohio thing. Oh, you made all Ohio as a junior? All you got to do is be breathing and make it as a senior. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. So, I, but I thought uh, a Teller, Wyatt Teller had a better year than Betonio. I agree. And, I agree. Um, Teller's he, an alternate, but yeah, so. I, I agree. I don't think either of them played at a Pro Bowl level, in my opinion, this year. I think they were yeah. both good, but not Pro I Bowl level. I think because level. both were asked to do so much in terms That's of fair. babysitting tackles yeah. on their side that they weren't used to. I think maybe their play, and who knows, maybe the executives and the coaches that put votes in looked at that and said, you know, they were asked to do more than they should have been, and that line is still a pretty damn good line. Mm -hmm. But I, I just think the other four are definite slam dunks. And again, I, I have to preface all this by saying, it's, it's offensive line play. I, yeah, I mean, I it's, hard. it's hard. It's yeah. hard. It's know. hard to say. So yeah, and that, that's really even tough. even more murky because right. offensive line play is just, it, you, once you get a name, like everyone know, everyone knew uh, Hutchinson was great for the Vikings. Right. <laughs> everyone knows like, okay, well, you're good. They'll put you in. Right. But my, my thing, the glaring issue is th there's no Emerson. There's no Emerson to be not even, not Emerson even not even getting an alternate was was a surprise. There's, I thought to me that was the biggest. That snub was I, for the I, I think Dustin Hopkins should have been the starting kicker. He's had a better season than Justin Tucker. That was a legacy vote as well. Yeah, but I, I'm surprised. Like, how did Dicker not get it? Well, these are the two comparisons yeah, to the guys who made it as the kicker and the alternate. I Cameron think Dicker, Dicker had didn't just as good a case as anybody. Dicker but had the best, these two the best side season of side. anybody. I think what I said yesterday factored in. He his kicks didn't matter. Yeah. I think that matters for kickers. Yeah, these are both playoff teams. Look, both of these guys. You know what though? I I know that it seems like we all of Hopkins' misses we remember, oddly enough. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, but Justin Tucker's miss against the Colts cost them the game. Yep. Cost them the game. Mm -hmm. that and eight, if I'm not mistaken, he might have missed two in that game. That I think he did won miss it. two in that game. I, I watched the fourth quarter in yeah. overtime, and I'm pretty sure he missed. Two. One of them may have been an extra point. Yeah. The most impressive things from Hopkins, eight for eight, 50 yard plus. That's on Yeah, right, right, right. Because that mean, was his weakness, right? That, yeah. we, we, he's, we, he's only hit half of his kicks over 50. Right. He's that was the biggest the concern, and he's been lights out in that situation. And a lot of those 50 yard kicks have been I thought important so. kicks to either tie a game, win a game, and big moments. Tucker, I'm just told, because I thought this way I yeah. remembered it, missed an extra point late in the fourth quarter. Yeah. 
and uh, a field goal in the Colts game, and that was one of their three losses. Man, look how many <laughs> more touchdowns the Ravens scored than the Browns. That's, yeah, that's a problem. Isn't that it? is. Uh, the Browns probably, probably went for two a little more. However, more, I bet still. if you if you look at the December numbers, we've probably scored more touchdowns than they have. Oh yeah, since Flacco certainly, the certainly. Oh, they just scored eight last game against Miami. Oh, that's so. true. oh I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, true. holy cow! And they, they had a few San games Francisco where they just too. killed yeah. teams. Yeah. If, if, if Grant Delpit would have been uh, healthy, to, and, and here's the thing, I think I think Hopkins, Borges, and Grant Delpit, if they would have been able to play and finish out the season, they would have been on. They would have been on. I yeah. think they I just actually too many. I, I, yeah, I think Emerson not being an alternate. I think Greg Newsom, I thought, might have a chance to be an alternate, too. too. He really fell into – I mean, he, that role as the slot corner has become a big-time role for him. The JOK thing is interesting. What none of us really thought about yesterday is that he's competing against T.J. Watt and other 4-3 outside yeah, linebackers. Yeah, which really isn't yeah. fair. But That's they're, stupid. They're technically yeah. their linebackers. They but, should, I mean, how often do they line up? Right. Four yards off. Those guys. Wait, but hold on, hold on, real quick. This is why I have the biggest issue with this, and I understand making a Pro Bowl, and actually I'm, I'm kind of pissed off about this. And I understand Pro Bowl nods in the grand scheme of things don't matter. Tyler Huntley is a Pro Bowl. Joe Flacco never. Well, had they in his matter career. in terms of bonuses. Exactly. To some guys. But when you vote for all pro teams, T.J. Watt's considered an edge rusher. That's not defensive end, yeah. outside linebacker. Yeah. The all pro teams they're designated as edge rushers. Right. And J.O.K. is not in that category. So you're going to tell me that players and fans and coaches vote for these different awards, and in one of the categories, T.J. Watt is properly placed with edge rushers, which he's going against Miles yeah, Garrett, Max Crosby. Sense. But for the Pro Bowl, he's in the same category as a weak side linebacker, off-ball linebacker like J.O.K. I, I, I think that makes sense to me. Yeah. For the Pro Bowl, they, there should have been a separate category. There should have been – they had two – they had three, you know, kind of four, three linebackers like T.J. Watt, <laughs> and then they had two inside linebackers. They should also have two – Guys like JOK, outside linebackers. I agree. In the 4-3. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I agree 100%. And then he would have probably – I mean, I don't know where – unfortunately, we can't find a list of like – because some guys are first alternate, second – I don't know where JOK was. I assume he was a first alternate, but I don't know Why that. is that list not available? I couldn't find it I couldn't anywhere. find it either. I, I was dug the depths it. of the internet. I'm pretty damn good. If you tell me to find something, I'm pretty damn good at being able to find it. Right. I couldn't find an alternate list anywhere. And the, the Panthers, for example, tweeted out – that they had four Pro Bowlers. One guy actually made it, then they had a first alternate and two fourth alternates. Yeah, right. Like That's a fourth not... alternate to the Pro Bowl. You can't celebrate that, but I can't find anywhere to argue like yeah, I MJ I think teams Emerson. put that out separately, uh, and the Browns didn't uh, do it. We, I, we throw, the analogy sticks today, too. I say, these, are, these are citizenship awards. Yeah. Like, they're, they're spreading it out. When you're so going four alternates? Four deep. I mean, that, hell, there's only 16 teams in the conference. They're just trying to get more and more names involved. Like, you yeah. know, like, it, it helps the awareness well, of certain guys. Also, I think in years past, they get burned because usually the two teams with um, among the most uh, nods for the Pro Bowl end up not being able to play. Right, they're in the right. Super Bowl. So yeah, you right. do need – and then – We've seen in past years where a lot of guys pass. Now I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you have to go down to that four or fifth. Sure. You know? So sure. I think that's probably why they name four alternates, just so they can automatically yeah. have a next man up. They used to just the pick them later, but now they just now they do this with the alternates. They did. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I thought it was interesting. Patrick Mahomes made the Pro Bowl. Yeah, that was garbage. Uh, which I disagreed. I disagree with that. He made it over Josh, Josh Allen. Allen. He made it over um, – who else? Oh, over C.J. Stroud. Uh, I just didn't like it. I, he's and, not, he uh, hasn't had a Pro Bowl season. And Matthew Stafford got the third quarterback spot over Jared Goff, which was a little surprising, but Stafford's had an amazing season. If you yeah. listen to MJ Emerson, listen, man, I, I saw you on, on your, your pregame show, and they talked about how you memorized all the nine guys in the corners. They put a, they got drafted ahead of you. Oh, did he say that? Yes, he remembers all I the love nine. stuff like that. Now, you got – Really super snubbed because some of these stats I didn't even know. No touchdowns allowed, a 47.8 passer rating allowed, lowest of any quarterback, wow. like cornerback in the NFL. And on top of that, he played in every single game. Denzel Ward hasn't played in every single game. Yeah. He's missed multiple games. The no touchdowns allowed is impressive. So how how can he do any better? I mean, you know, people talked about four interceptions this year, a lot of pass breakups. So my thing is. If is you it, look is at it, it the receptions allowed that stands out? I don't because know. He's, but he's 46th on that list. No touchdowns is hard. But everything no, no else touchdowns is, is very impressive. And, and he's going against the number one corner, especially if Denzel's not there. The number one receiver. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, 
Yeah, you got you got screwed. I on think this he's one. the only. I think he got screwed the most. I do too. Yeah. I think JOK got screwed the most in terms of not being a Pro Bowler and being yep. an alternate. Right. But that was just because the way they do the Pro Bowl. But you know what? By and large, uh, I'm super excited about yeah. the showing that you know. Th- sure. The rest of the league and fans are stepping yeah. up, saying you guys had a hell of a year. It is a little weird to me that everybody around the league agrees the Browns have the best defense, or maybe one A, one B with the Ravens. And yet, including alternates, only four players on their defense made it. Well, they set Dude. you up for this, Bull. Yeah. Clean sleep in, in awards for the Browns. Coach of the year. Assistant coach of the year. Assistant <laughs> of the year. They're they going to get uh, also defensive. Uh, a defensive player of the year. And I think they should have comeback player of the year. I think the Browns should have all three. Mm. Good well, case gonna talk for about, We're going to talk about that in just a little bit because – Comeback player of the year vote is going to be really interesting. <laughs> really <laughs> interesting. You talk about the citizenship <laughs> award. Uh, listen. Yeah. <laughs> I think we might see that handed out this year. And I, I don't want to disparage Tamar Hamlin. What he's done has been incredible. But does he deserve no. the award no. for the best comeback of 2023? Is that next? Are we getting to that next? No, oh, that's, that's next. Oh, yeah. that's I, I got next. two more questions for you guys yeah. on the Pro Bowl stuff before we move on here. But in the past <clears> – <throat> The Browns obviously have not had a roster as talented as they have now, and there were four teams last night who were left without a single Pro Bowler. The fact the Browns had 11 players at least get recognition. Right. That's 20% of the roster, essentially. Yeah. And I do think, and Tyvis did it yesterday, and I think we all agreed, Andrew Berry, it's a testament to the roster building here that he has put together a roster where 20% of the roster is getting consideration for the – essentially all-star team. Yeah, right. Now, he didn't acquire all those guys. No, no, but I'm just saying the, the but, overall construction here, like he yeah. Miles and Denzel were previous, right? And, and, and Njoku, Njoku, too. Njoku. And Njoku, yeah. okay. So, and Betonio. And Betonio. Okay, so only one of the five starters, Cooper, was a move that he made. Yeah. Was Wyatt Teller Barry? Or was that the last, was that I think that John was, Dorsey? No, I think Dorsey. it was Dorsey. I think it was. Dang, John Dorsey, thank you. <laughs> I, you know, well, I saw him in the gas some of those station. guys are not Dorsey. Is he still in Cleveland? I think he's still in I, I saw him at the, the, the gas station about three months ago. Wow. Can you double he had check, his little Mike, li- he had his little when the Browns got Wyatt sure Teller, what year that was? The, some of those guys are pre-Dorsey. Miles Garrett's pre-Dorsey. Miles Garrett wasn't Sasha drafted Brown. by Dorsey. Wyatt Sasha. Teller was yes. acquired in 2019. What's that? Who was? He acquired... Teller 2019. Yeah, so that, so that was, was Dorsey. That was Dorsey. Okay. Yeah. We thought. So one that was of a the great five trade. starters, Very Cooper, great. is Andrew Barry. I, I think the Browns gave up like a fourth or fifth round pick for Wyatt Teller. Is that correct, Mike? Yeah. And, Dors- and, and Dorsey got uh, Nick Chubb too? Yeah. Yes. Dang. Uh, <laughs> yes. Dang. You're right. Yeah, okay. Interesting. <laughs> he got Chubb too? But I think Njoku was Nj- – Najoku was part of when they took the three guys in the first round with Peppers and <laughs> yeah, he also Peppers yeah. is also on his yeah. watch too. Yeah. On oh, I forgot about Peppers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How could you forget about? He him? He didn't do nothing. Yeah. Like I'm like y'all, y'all got him playing in the Muni lot, bro. Like a a, a, a Greg Williams, let this man do something. No, yeah. Peppers is a deep, nope. deep, deep third, thirty five yards off the line of scrimmage. At least, like, at least he's still in the nuts. league, he unlike is. some of these other right. guys. Yeah, drafted, true. But, right. He got but caught yes. on an open mic telling a, 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 a I think. A Jets player. Oh yeah, right. After the Jets beat the Patriots, <laughs> you lucky we trashed. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and then one more thing, real quick. Yeah. But I guess that fans have voted on this for a while, Bull. Yeah. Are you guys okay with fans accounting for thirty-three percent of the vote? The here? other two-thirds is you said in our note that it was just coaches and executives. Coaches and executives, yes. Players don't have a say. Not in the Pro Bowl, no. I didn't know that. I thought it, that seems like a. Story. I thought. Well, how players- did the fans do? Like what? Well, well, give me a position. I'll tell you how the – Like, who did the fans vote for at quarterback? Uh, I got to pull up. Ian Rapport tweeted out last night. Quarterbacks. Now, yeah. it's not by division. Thought... It's by just overall votes. Okay. Brock Purdy – quarterback, 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 quarterback. Brock the... Purdy had the most votes to a second. Mahomes third. Prescott fourth. Allen fifth. Stroud sixth. Lamar seventh. Wait, Goff wait, wait. Eighth. Is that fans or executives? Fans. Yeah, okay, that's right. Fans are way lost Lamar on that seventh? One. Lamar seventh. seventh. First of all, I thought Lamar not being the starting quarterback for the AFC is a miss. How, how is that possible? I don't understand Wait, it. who's the starter? Tua. Well, they, and this is my point. Oh, this yeah, is why that's I kind of have an that, issue. They just missed that. Yeah, that's I kind of have a big issue Lamar's, with something that Lamar's going to be the MVP of the league. Yeah, Lamar's been way better than Tua. being in the, in the hands of fans. Give me another position, Ball. I'll read you the fan vote. Wide receiver. Yeah, that's a good one. Wide receiver. I bet they don't have Cooper. 
Uh, Mari Cooper's not in the top ten. Tyree Kill, number one. Brandon Ayuk, number two. It's Debo a Samuel, number three. With, with fans. Debo Samuel is not number three. Like, he is not number yeah, three. No. Like, Jaylen, had a great so, year, the top four in the wide receiver vote, two Dolphins, two 49ers. So let me Which ask is you weird because the Dolphins are not generally a popular team. I actually they, I like, No, but you know what? Their speed core yeah. has... Has a has from put a, a lot of fans on the that's Dolphins true, band. That's yeah. true. They're fast. Madden They're got, fast. I love them. The, Madden. The, the Matt, that's bro, the Madden impact. Yeah. Them, I never would have thought this. The Madden cult is so strong. It yeah. is. Strong. Like these guys will like they dictate it. Like at the, 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 the online, it's yeah. all about the Dolphins. It's yeah. all about the Dolphins and, that, and how fast they are. That's, that's it. it. That's it. I so there's no player vote, and surprisingly, there's no media vote. Yeah. No media for this. I, I just think their process is wrong. So yeah. here's, here's the players. The I, I, I got to tell you, the play. I know sometimes players will vote for friends and yeah. former teammates, but by and large, there's enough players that they're going to get it right. But they I think, know. I, I love when a guy, when yeah. you ask a defensive back, who's the one wide receiver you most hate to guard? That's why. Like, they're going to give it to you. They're going to tell you straight. That's right. why I respect the NFL top 100. Like, yes, you would, that's from the, like, dot, but they get plenty wrong on that, in do. my opinion. They, but, yeah. but some of them, they do get it. But there is, there the is a little bit of Lamar insight. Seventh is just egregious. Yeah, that's where crazy. the fans are like, no, this guy is way underrated. Well, like, where did the executives put Lamar, Mike? I, they, they didn't release that. They just released okay. the fan vote. But this is the exact tweet from Rappaport. Pro Bowl yeah. rosters will be announced at 8 p.m. tonight on NFL Network. But before all that, here are the top vote getters by position from the fan voting, which counts for one third of the process. Okay. Coaches front office count for the rest. Huh. Amari yeah. Cooper 10th um, by the fans. Nope, he's they're, not even in the top 10. They're not paying attention. Yeah, yeah not, no, not no. in the top 10. They're not. But in the attention. end, even though he got 10th from the fans, not in the no, top 10. No, he was not top He 10. still finished as a, as a starter in the Pro Bowl. So obviously, yes. the coaches and executives weighs heavier. They got they're it saying right. two-thirds, but it's got to be more than that. Because yeah. he was not only on the team, he's a starter. Right. What's up, G? Do you believe, I'm going to ask you this, do you... Do you believe players nowadays care more about their batting ratings than Pro Bowl? No. Uh, no, because you because get paid the Pro off Bowl Pro gets Bowl paid. Incentives. It gets yeah. you paid. Okay. If you, but take the money out. Take the money yes. out. Take the yes. money out. 100%. Uh, I still think they want that recognition. Yeah, and here's the thing. When, down the road, when, yeah. all, when we judge all these players as to whether or not they get a gold jacket, there's a billion stats that we'll look at. None of them will be Madden ratings. No. I, I, we, think, I don't know that we should look at Pro Bowls, though. But some, we do. Yeah, I, when we when we list the resume of a, of a Hall of Famer, yeah. we, we say this: he won two MVPs, two Super Bowls, a nine-time Pro Bowler, yeah, that's seven true. times All Pro. I think All Pro is never way more. You'll see six times was highest rated at his position <laughs> right, right. by Madden. All think, Pro is way more. You also than Pro won't Bowl. see PFF grade. Yeah, you, you no? won't see that. That's now true. here's the, now here's what I will say: I think there's a lot of young players who understand that it is so difficult to get in the NFL, the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. They're just like, I live in a moment. I, like, I can't calculate. Like, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be a seven-time Pro Bowl. Yeah, right? you're right about that. Yeah. So, they're pro- to some players, because we've heard players say, Madden, how'd you get that so Montez wrong? Sweat yeah. is, Montez Sweat is hurt. Like yeah, this, like he, literally, this, he's literally like he goes into the meeting with, with you know the guys that are doing the game. He's like, I can't believe they got me like a eighty four. Like people be really yeah. mad at that. Yeah, it means something to the players, whether or not it means more than a Pro Bowl nod, I don't know. But it, they, it's something they look at. <laughs> I think fan. The reason I thought the fans and obviously the fans did a bad job with these two things we mentioned. I feel like in baseball. The fans in recent years have done a better job I, of voting than well, they you, used to. You guys are more plugged in. Baseball fans are, yeah. by by and large, the most informed group of people. Intense about watchers. the whole league. About, yes, about the whole. And, like, when y'all sit, be sitting up here talking about, yeah, let's, uh, let me, uh, the third starter for the A's? <laughs> nah, bro. He, like, you know, Washington, you know, he, he's been batting royal, 242. I think, yeah, I'm like, you watch that game? Do you got, I'm confused. How do you do that? Yeah, baseball, I do think baseball fans, by and large, get it pretty close. But there are also a lot of years where a player at the end of his career, Cal Ripken, right, right, is sure. voted the starter at shortstop, and you're like, wait a minute. Yeah, but there are I three think better shortstops right now. Agreed. Than Cal Ripken. But I think in recent years, fan voting's been better than it used to be. When I we agree. Were it has gotten better. Yeah. 